23. That's how many youth retreats I've been on. This is my 23rd youth retreat, and the music is pumping. Kids are arriving, buses are showing up, leaders are here, and we're ready to kick off our 2015 GDSLV Fall Retreat. I'm so excited. Let's go check things out. <laughs> of the night it's almost midnight kids are in here and leaders are grabbing their luggage in the luggage truck and from buses it's time to head to our cabins and say goodnight for the rest of the evening good morning it's saturday at 7 30 a.m i'm heading now to uh, our meeting with our coordinators from all of our different sites so we're getting up bright and early to share vision and heart for what our ministry looks like so i'm excited to sit in the room with these people to pray together to learn together to dream together and to <laughs> jump into a day it's going to be jam-packed of meaningful conversations fun games and intentionality when you know you've gotten to a tough place when the answer to your prayer is <laughs> It's time for session two. Nat's talking today about the puke prayer, the place where Jonah was in when he realized he hadn't listened to God, when he realized he'd run away from Nineveh. We have a God who chases after us, but we also have a God who meets us where we're at. And sometimes, and especially in Jonah's case, that looked like the belly of a fish. That looked like in the midst of guts and gross and grime and filth. And Jonah prayed and God met him where he was at. We're hanging out on a Saturday afternoon. It's our afternoon options time. Uh, everyone's around, hanging out at camp, running around the woods. Uh, this is my friend Rebecca. She's one of my SLTs in grade eight in Oakville. And Rebecca, what are you most excited for for this afternoon? Um, I'm most excited for like hanging out with friends and Caitlin. Oh. Melting my heart on a Saturday afternoon. The best. Natalie's just given us all a challenge. We have three questions to answer. The first is, are you ready to partner with God? The second is, are you ready to go and tell people about who Jesus is and how he loves? And the third is, are you listening to what he's saying to you? And are you willing and ready to go when he asks you to? so far this morning. We're sitting at breakfast and I'm watching leaders from other sites and one of the leaders from the other sites tells me the highlight of her Sunday morning is getting cinnamon buns at breakfast. 30 seconds later I look over and her students are asking her if they can try some of it. There she goes cutting her cinnamon bun in half. True discipleship and true leadership and sacrificial love. Cutting your cinnamon bun in half for somebody else. All right, my bags are packed. I'm heading out of the cabin now. We're gonna load the luggage truck. We're gonna have lunch together one last time and we're gonna say goodbye to the woods. Oh, look who I found! <laughs> look at gonna crawl under you. <laughs> you can so keep it in your vlog. You can keep doing it. I hope this gets included. Six years ago, I came on my first retreat as a leader. My small group girls were 11, and now they're 16. Woo! Oh, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. All right, I'm here with Sarah Stanley. It is almost two o'clock. Buses are getting ready to <laughs> Sarah, what was the highlight of your weekend? Oh my goodness, I can't pick one. So in this moment, it is, I just got to jump in and say goodbye to all of the buses and just, say goodbye to everyone and send them home and it's been such an amazing weekend and so I'm just filled to like overflowing with just lots of excitement and joy as this weekend wraps up. Amazing. We're headed home now. We will see you all soon. Bye.